And now for this week's dose of local history, here's our Desert Past Audience Participation Edition. If you don't know what that means, don't worry, NBC Palm Springs' Steve Sumrall explains. During the time that I have been producing features for our Desert Past, I have discovered some points of interest from our local history that are truly fascinating. One fun way to share some of this information is through a multiple choice pop quiz that I put together and submitted to some visitors of the Palm Springs Village Fest. Now, let's find out just how much the general public knows about our desert past. Who's professional debut happened at the Indio Fairgrounds in 1966? A, the Muppets, B, Evil Knievel, or C, folk singer Donovan? Evil Knievel. No. Oh yeah. B. 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 Evil Knievel. Donovan. Donovan. Has to be Donovan. Evil Knievel. Huh. Let's go. All right. <laughs> A writer formerly known as Robert Craig, now Evil Knievel, made his debut jump over two pickup trucks, roughly 45 feet. The location of the Alibi Bar in Palm Springs mm. was originally the site of the city's first A, City Hall, B, Police Department, or C, Phone Company. I'm going to go with Police, police Station. Bar, city Hall. Police Station. Police Station. City Hall. Phone Company. Phone Company is correct. I knew it. Phone Company. Oh. That was my gut. Oh. Always go with your gut. Oh. Yeah. I thought right. the saying was never go with your gut. Okay. It might be. California Water and Telephone Company built this structure in 1934 as a business office and switching center. In Cathedral City, there is a gated community where the streets are named after A, Little Rascals characters, B, Knights of the Round Table, or C, Astronauts. Astronauts? Knights of the Round Table. Knights of the Round Table. Knights of the Round Table. Astronauts. You're both wrong. Oh, Little Rascals characters. That would have been the coolest answer. <laughs> Alpha Drive, Porky Drive, Darla Drive. Oh, wow. It's a real cool I bring yeah. receipts. Recently, Palm Springs mourned the passing of one of its longtime residents with ties to Hollywood's Golden Age. This resident was A, the hairstylist of the stars, B, the chauffeur of the stars, or C, Cheetah the Chimp. It was chimp is in chimpanzee. Yes. The driver, the chauffeur. I'll go with the chimpanzee. Going with the chimpanzee is absolutely the right decision. Oh. That, the second one. The chauffeur. Second. Cheetah the chimp, actually. I knew it. He's an ambassador for all the chimps who played in the Tarzan pictures. And uh, his actual age and uh, history on him will always be a Hollywood mystery. But. The world is a less wonderful place without my cheetah. In 1936, the construction of the Plaza Theater and Shopping Center was financed by a wealthy woman from Dayton, Ohio, named Julia Cornell. She made her fortune because her late husband had willed her the patents to what type of mechanical device? A, sewing machine, B, cash register, or C, tractor. That'd be the, the sewing machine. Sewing machine. Hey, I've seen a few sewing machines in my day. Okay. I'm gonna go with A as well. Okay. Uh, sewing machine. So you're so oh. you're wrong. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> no. It was cash register. Her husband was the co-founder of the National Cash Register oh, Company. She was able to kaching off of machines that literally went kaching. Wow. Oh. Yeah. When she was 63 years old, Palm Springs pioneer Zaddy Bunker stunned the community by doing this. A, recording an album, B, flying a plane, or C, running a marathon. Huh. Running a marathon, flying a plane. Recording Fly an album. Flying a plane. Flying a plane is correct. Let's go. She was known as Palm Springs Flying Grandmother. Incidentally, she was also the first woman in California to have a chauffeur's license. In an episode of the early 70s action drama, which TV detective apprehended a murder suspect on the Palm Springs aerial tramway? A, Columbo, B, McLeod, or C, Banachek? Banachek. Wow. Sounds like McLeod. Going with Columbo. Yeah, I was thinking Columbo. Well, you should go with Columbo, because it's the right answer. Oh, finally. We have got to get rid of that box. Why? What for? Oh. 
You might have noticed that this quiz addressed Palm Springs Flying Grandmother's Addie Bunker. Hers is a story that you definitely should know. We'll be talking about her in an upcoming edition of Our Desert Past. Please join us for that. For Our Desert Past, this is Steve Sumrall, NBC Palm Springs News First.